So it's a beautiful Melbourne day here. The sun is out. I've got the old Volvo Turbo ready to rock and roll because I found a really cool Ninko slot car set lot that I'm going to purchase. It's go-karts, it's Porsche, and it's a slot car set. And Ninko down under is very hard to find. So let's jump in the old girl and let's go pick up some Ninko slot cars. <laughs> So just got back from pick up this Ninko lot and take a look at this. We've got a fresh, fresh Ninko book from I'd say early 2000s. We've got some added track. Again, the box is incredible. Two go-karts in their original boxes, some extra braid in their original packets. But look at this, a Minty's Ninko Porsche set. Wow. All right, let's get stuck into the unboxing. So let's dive headfirst into this awesome Ninko lot that I found locally, which in itself is extremely rare. Finding anything locally slot car related for me is extremely hard, but Ninko, I mean, I'm a huge collector of Ninko and it's hard any time of the day to try and find anything Ninko related in Australia. So I can't believe that this was literally 15 Ks from my house, but we'll start from the small stuff and work our way up to the big, which is the slot car set at the end. But let's start with these three little bits of uh, gold that I will call them right in front of me. Now I collect anything slot car related, whether it's books, slot cars, photos, and also product. Now this is Ninko branded braid. Now it might not sound much to you at home, but to me, this is gold. It's got the Ninko logo, it's unopened, so it's old, new stock, or whatever you wanna call it, it's never been opened. And we've got two packets here of the Super Racing Braid, the 50 centimeter uh, Super Racing Braid. Never opened, never used, never been cut. Will I use them? Definitely not, but that is seriously cool because I do love Ninko, and of course they're not making any Ninko slot car stuff to my knowledge at all, so this is gold. And we've also got a packet of 10 cut to size Super Racing Braid, which again, I'm not gonna use it. This is really cool. And I, I love the small stuff. I don't know why, but this stuff to me as a collector is seriously cool. But let move, let's move on to a very good condition Ninko catalog. Now, the seller did say he purchased this bulk lot about 15 years ago, and the condition of this stuff is incredible. Now look at the book, it's red, it's vibrant, it's, I've probably marked it more than him. And we'll go through a couple of pages while I'm talking, but when I was talking to the seller, a flyer fell out of this book. Now what's special about this flyer, this is an old flyer of our last standing slot car center here in Melbourne, Australia, which is Mr. Slot Car, absolute legend family business, it is awesome. Now this is his old Dandenong fly and you can see some tracks and stuff on there, which means to me that this lot would have been purchased from him around about 15 years ago, the seller said, but he wasn't sure where he bought it from. If this fly is in that book, it had to be from Mr. Slotcar. Now he's now in Hallam, he's still our last slot car center. So if you are watching Mr. Slotcar, you know I love you guys, you're absolute legends. And I've got one of your old flies, which is really cool. But I do collect anything slot car related and this book will take pride position in my collection, but it is in such good condition. So now let's move on to two incredible slot cars, and then we'll move on to the bigger stuff. So what you see in front of you are two slot cars or slot go-karts that I can now tick off my list. These are grail pieces for me because I do have the go-kart set by Ninko and I absolutely love it. And that was really hard to find. It was in shabby condition, but I buy anything. So I was happy to find that go-kart set. But now I can add two of the Ninko go-karts to my collection, which I do want to complete the set, but being here in Australia, it is challenging to find these even loose. So to find these in complete condition, excellent condition in a Ninko lot, I'm honestly blown away. So we have number 28, which is the Tony cart. We also have number 16, which is the Burrell, the Burrell Motorsports cart. And again, I can't wipe the smile off my face because finding these locally was insane in good condition. And I will be doing a review on that slot car set or the go-kart set in the future when time permits, but I just want to soak all this in because this is extremely exciting. Now, I'll hit the comments. Do you have any of these carts in your collection? Because if you do, hang on to them because they are worth a lot of money. And if you don't want them, please hit me up and I'll buy them off you because these are absolutely extraordinary. Now, let's move on to a Ninko added piece of set. So it's an add-on set uh, piece for your track. And I thought it was really cool when I picked it up. And I think it deserves its own unboxing. Alrighty, so it's time to move on to some Ninko track pieces. Now this is an add-on set, it's a track piece set, and it's the changeover curve set by Ninko in extremely good condition. And again, this was in the same lot, and I did find this locally. Now inside we do have two curve pieces, which completes a nice big 
corner with six barriers with the mesh tops. I am seriously speechless. Not only will I be using this to take photos on Instagram, but eventually I would love to build an Inco trap. But just having the pieces and these sets and the boxes is what keeps me going in this hobby. And again, I can't wipe the smile off my face. It's a little add-on set, but I'm happy to have it because this stuff is rare here in Australia. So I'd love to know in the comments what other sets are there or add-ons that I need to find because now I have the bug to get all the Ninko stuff I can find, hopefully in this condition. But I thought it was a cool little piece. But let's move on to the last big piece of this puzzle, the Porsche slot car set by Ninko. You won't be disappointed. So let's finish this video with one more grail piece. Now this is the reason I bought this Ninko lot set. The go-karts were definitely grail pieces, extremely hard to find here in Australia, but this takes the cake. This is what caught my attention and why I was so excited to drive and go pick up, meet the seller and pick up this Ninko lot. What is it? Well, it's the Ninko GT Turbo Porsche set in pristine condition. And I can't believe it. I'm still smiling now that this set is in my hot little hands because I did hunt down and find the individual cars in their individual cases many years ago. And I was super proud to find those. And I did want to complete it by getting the slot car set that matched the cars. Now, of course, inside here, we've got two pristine Porsches that you see on the front cover. They are loose. They are pristine, almost unused. We have the Ninko 55 Plus hand controllers, the Ninko Sprint electronic timer, and everything else in there is complete and in extremely good condition. Now in the near future, I will do a full unboxing setup, hot laps with these cars, and review this slot car set, because I believe it does deserve that. And I will be trying to find more slot car sets to review in the future, because for me, they're fun, but it's cool seeing what you can purchase back in the day, but now I've completed the set, I'm super stoked. But as always, at that slot car guy on Instagram and YouTube, please hit the comments. What Ninko stuff do you think I should find next? And do you have any Ninko stuff that you do want to sell? I do like buying lots. So if you do have stuff that you want to sell that's Ninko related or slot car related, please hit my emails. And if you do have any builds coming up or anything that you're working on slot car related track, uh, whether it's, it's slot cars themselves, scratch build, whatever it is, please email me because I do like sharing them on my videos. But be safe, take care, support your local. Ciao. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my seat.